When you want to have your PDFs electronically navigable, one of the great features you can incorporate are bookmarks. It's a very visual, user-friendly way of navigating to important portions of your document, and they allow you to, to quickly jump to not only a location, but also a magnification of that area. So let's explore ways that you're able to create these bookmarks and customize them as well. So here's a file that has several pages, and many of these pages have articles on them, and we have a table of contents that's built into the document, but we can also create bookmarks that will easily allow users to jump back and forth, maybe something that parallels the table of contents structure here. And I can easily create a bookmark using the selection tool and highlighting text on the page, right click on the text, add bookmark or control B. And because I highlighted text, the name is already in place for me. I'm gonna move to another page. Add text. I'll do a control B, etc. And you get the idea of how this works. Now I'm going to make my way to the very beginning of the document and this doesn't have text per se, it has a graphic. I can still right click anywhere on the page and add a bookmark or control B. And I'll just simply give it a name. Now what you're noticing is that the order of the bookmark was actually put relative to where I had I was, my cursor was. I can actually move this bookmark up and you can see the symbol moving as I drag it up and there it is and now it's in the uh, proper order for me to make it easier to navigate through. I might also want to put in a welcome page. Notice that I have intro here selected and so when I go ahead and right click and add a bookmark because of what was I had selected, the bookmark is in a the order I want it to be in, so I don't need to rearrange the order. And I come down to the benefits page, and on the benefits I actually want to put more information about these specific items. And I'm going to zoom in a little bit here so it's easier to read and just scroll. And I'm going to create a new bookmark specifically for health insurance. And I'll scroll down I went a little too far, there we go. And I'll scroll down, I'll make a new bookmark here for dental coverage. Now, I actually want to nest these bookmarks because they're subsets of benefits. So I'm going to pull it up and then in a little bit. You can notice how the symbol changes. And again, I'm going to pull it up and you can actually create them nested. I could even go further, I could keep nesting and go up um, and then up, it's, it's actually up a little bit when you're going in and you can see how it's nesting if you want to do that. Now if I scroll back here and position the page so I can see vision coverage, notice that dental coverage is my active bookmark or the highlighted bookmark. When I add a bookmark then everything gets put into place. I'll move in a little bit more. Add a bookmark. Whoop, just the one to go right there and I'll do a control B to add another bookmark and you can see how all that information is set in place. Now if I click on intro, welcome, benefits, holidays and leave, I can quickly jump from location to location. Watch what happens when I go to these side benefits. Remember that when we created these benefits they had a particular magnification in place and so for that purpose, or for that reason, I'm actually able to use the bookmark not only to jump to a page, but also to a particular magnification or zoom level of that page. And these pages were set at a particular zoom. Now, if I wanted to change this, so for example, we go to vision coverage, and I decide that we want to make that a little bit larger. People who need vision coverage maybe need to they have things just a little bit larger there. I can actually change my zoom. And when I right click on a bookmark, I can choose to set destination. And what that really means in terms of bookmarks is that you can 
change the way the bookmark's going to act. I'll click on yes. And notice that when I click here, it actually expands. Let's try this with the um, dental coverage. And you can see right now the default for dental coverage is 100%. And we'll go ahead and position this. We'll change set destination, right click set destination. And when you choose health, dental, you can see it moves to 125. And if I were to go a little bit deeper, I go properties and I click on actions, I can actually see the information here is part of an action that's associated with this object, the properties of this object. And there is some information that's, that's built in. And you can have that, that custom zoom. If I were to go to benefits and right click properties, actions, you can see the zoom level is at fit page. And with health insurance, actions, you can see it's at actual size. Now, even though you can customize the actions through properties, it's much simpler to zoom to what you want and then set the destination. And of course, you can always delete a, a bookmark and make a new one. So that's another option as well. Or even rename a bookmark if you wanted to or cut, etc. Now, you're noticing that this particular bookmark is actually really long and it's wrapping. There are some settings up here that we can employ to all of our bookmarks, and one of them includes wrap long bookmarks. Let's go ahead and uncheck that, and you can see how everything is cut off. We can go back and choose wrap long bookmarks again. I like this feature to collapse top level bookmarks. So we have your top level and he can expand or collapse that information. And we have some different choices in here that we can use. There's also an option for small and text size large. So depending on how useful you wanna make this. Now, going back to this idea of properties, you can also change the look and feel of your bookmark. So I want to draw attention to this contents bookmark and I'm going to right click on it, access its properties, and I can choose to make this bold or italic or bold and italic. Let's go ahead and make that bold. I can also change the color. So let's put in a bright red, click on OK. And I'm not quite seeing the color here because it's still highlighted, but if I click on a different bookmark, you can see that the color is definitely that red color. And I'm going to collapse top level bookmarks and select all. So when I collapse them, select all, access the properties, let's change the color to this light blue. Well, that's a little too light, isn't it? Let's do that again. Let's do a select all and properties. Let's change it to, how about a, a dark blue? There we go. And you can see how all of them changed. I'll expand this, but notice that the nested files didn't change. So this is a, a nice way to change some of those top level bookmarks. If again, if I do control A, now that they're expanded, I would actually be changing all of the content. But if I collapse first and then select all, control A or shift, I can make the changes, make them all bold, etc. Now the other option you have is when you're working on these bookmarks, if you make some changes, you can use the current appearance as the new default, which means that when you're making a new bookmark, it'll take on the properties that you've defined. So for example, I'll come here to health insurance. I'm gonna change the properties so that it is a different color. And I'm gonna make that the current appearance as new default, okay. Now I'll go over here to Holiday, and I'm going to zoom in a little bit for paid holidays, create a bookmark, nest it in, and you can see how it took in the same color that we wanted to use. Now bookmarks are something that you can easily create or modify in your, your Acrobat file. However, programs like InDesign and Word will allow you to create bookmarks automatically using headers. 
So just be aware of that. If you export an InDesign file or use this PDF Maker and export Word files, you can actually create files that generate bookmarks automatically, and then you can keep them as they are. I'll go ahead and cancel this out. Or you can easily customize them as well. However, let's go ahead and save this file. File, save. I'm going to close the file here. This is benefits two. And I'm going to reopen the document. My bookmarks are in place, but did you notice that the bookmark panel wasn't opened? And so your users may not realize that there is this great feature of bookmarks to take advantage of. And one of the things that you can do to make this tool a lot more accessible is to actually turn it on by default. And we go to the file properties and we change the initial view. There's a feature here called navigation tab. And we can change it to bookmarks, page, panel, and page. We can even do a couple other things. So for example, I'm going to choose single page continuous. And I think I'll choose this option for fit page. So it's a little bit easier to see. Notice how by default it opens up in a much larger zoom. I also have some tools about how the window and the menus are going to show up. I'll go ahead and click on OK. And I will save the file. And just so you can see what's happening, I'm actually going to change this to 800% and turn on page thumbnails, right? I don't even have an option to save. I'm going to go ahead and close this file. And when I reopen the document, notice that the zoom is set to that fit to page and the bookmark panel is already open. So you can take advantage of that feature straight away. If you have a file with bookmarks that's very large, you can also take advantage of the split command. And you can split a document based on these top level bookmarks into uh, multiple files. So for example, into seven separate files. And it's already been done. It was that easy. And if I go in and open this file up, there are my seven different files. So bookmarks is a great strategy to use to create links to other pages or even locations on a page to make it easier for your users to find information that you want to draw to their attention.